What's good? What's good? It's your boy Drama House Eight Game Entertainment Two One Six The Movement. We move with you. Did. <laughs> What's good, peoples? Oh, come on, man. We ain't gonna be doing this. We ain't gonna do it like that. Now we ain't about to just bury Hassan Campbell, man. We ain't just about to put all the energy on Hassan Campbell, man. Because that's the reason why I stopped blogging on Hassan Campbell, man. Cause everybody blogging on a nigga now, man. Niggas trying to get their motherfucking views up. You understand me? They trying to get their subscribers up. See, when I went on Hassan Campbell, I ain't go after him for no views. I ain't even know I was going to get no views. I went at him because I seen a nigga on some sucker shit. I seen a nigga that I was like, hey, this is a nigga you can do a blog off. You understand me? The shit that this nigga talking about, so... I went in on a nigga, you understand me? I hit him a couple times, uh, uh, a couple body shots, you understand me, pause, but it is what it is, man. I went at a lot of dudes, you understand me? But I'm not going to keep going after the same dude, you understand me? And it's a million of mother, other motherfuckers going against the nigga, you understand me? Because I don't got shit against the nigga. It's all fun and games to me. This shit is entertainment. And anybody that don't understand that this shit is entertainment, it's a goddamn fool. You understand me? Because Hassan Campbell really winning in this motherfucker. You understand me? He really winning. His subs went up like crazy. You understand me? I got a lot of views off the nigga. I got some subs, but I ain't get the subs that this nigga getting because everybody going at this nigga neck. And guess what? The people always love the underdog. He is the underdog, so they're going to keep subscribing to this nigga. And um, watching this nigga. And you know what? The nigga winning. And I believe that's why a lot of other motherfuckers can't stand this nigga. Because they're like, damn. We ain't buried this nigga yet. You can't bury the nigga. He a part of y'all. You understand me? He a part of them 70s, 80s babies. Like, whatever, 60s maybe. I don't know. But he a part of y'all. So, it's just like, why everybody trying to bury the nigga? He already... It's a lunatic, he a psychopath. You know he a lunatic psychopath. Why is everybody picking on this nigga? Let's switch the energy around. Let's give some energy to some more niggas, you understand me? Because if the nigga wasn't a pedophile and didn't have that shit under his belt, I would skip sides and go on that side. I would change sides, nigga, and ride with the nigga because I don't like beefing, everybody beefing on one nigga. I just don't feel that type of shit. But since he got that pedophile shit up under his belt, I can't rock with him. I got to rock with the people. And I understand why the people coming at him, but it's a lot of other niggas that just, you know, seen my shit, seen other niggas shit, seen the numbers, and they start going after the nigga, um, Hassan Campbell, and they don't even really know shit about what the fuck they're going at. They probably watch my blog, watch another nigga blog, and try to go in on the nigga and just get them some views. You know how these niggas is anyway with the clout chasing shit. But at the end of the day, man, the nigga um, Hassan Campbell is not the head of the horse. Africa Bambada is the head of the horse. And I see a lot of niggas trying to protect that nigga, man. A lot of you motherfuckers protecting that nigga, man. Y'all niggas ain't coming at the head of the horse. Africa Bambada is the head of the horse, man. We need to start talking about that nigga more. You understand me? Fuck his boyfriend. And I got to come at you too, Africa Bambada. That's some fucked up ass shit. You just going to sit back and watch the internet kill your boyfriend, your girlfriend or whatever that is. You just going to watch that shit happen. That nigga stood up for you. In multiple occasions, and even when the nigga tried to stab you or whatever, after you was already putting the dick in the nigga, he still tried to come to your rescue, and you gonna sit back and not do nothing while the internet just crucify your girlfriend like that, man? That's some sucker shit, man. You not just a, a pervert kid rapist, nigga. You a sucker, nigga. You your nigga like your boyfriend like that, man. I understand why you uptight, Hassan. I understand why you be on motherfucking the internet drinking Budweiser, getting drunk, spilling your goddamn guts. I understand, man, because niggas done did you dirty, man. You been getting done dirty since you was a little boy. Motherfucking your brother, you know, putting the dick in you and your stepfather putting the dick in you and Africa Bambada putting the dick in you and whoever else that you ain't even told that was putting the dick in you, man. Shit gotta stop, black people, man. We gotta start... Like, we ain't come at Gail King like we come in at Hassan Campbell and Oprah. We might have did one blog or some shit like that, and we left it alone. Look how they did our brother Snoop Dogg. They shitted on him. They fucked him like Africa Bambada was fucking Hassan Campbell. They did Snoop Dogg wrong, man. That nigga on TV crying, man. He ain't said shit. 
He ain't said shit, but you dog head bitch to a bitch that looked like a dog head bitch that was hating on Kobe. We ain't even stick to that fact. We ain't even like, no, y'all tried to get Kobe. I mean, y'all tried to get Snoop Dogg, but y'all can't get us, and we keep coming at the motherfuckers. No, we'd rather turn our energy back to Hassan Campbell, a lunatic psychopath pedophile who don't even know what the fuck he doing. But guess what? He winning, because that nigga blog on three different channels, like two, three blogs a day go live. He ain't got no friends and family. That's all he got to do. And if it was and like, I be hearing a lot of y'all niggas talking about, man, the internet tripping. They ain't, they ain't doing this. They ain't sending my shit out. They ain't doing, nigga, quit. Get off the internet, nigga. Get off YouTube. Nigga, YouTube ain't got to do what the fuck you want them to do. They do what the fuck they want to do. Look at all the violence and shit. Niggas and motherfuckers put on motherfucking YouTube before the policies hit. Look all the money niggas was making. They they gave a nigga a platform. You ain't even need no four uh, thousand hours of watch time and um a thousand subscribers. You ain't even need that shit. They said go ahead, start off. As soon as you drop your videos, you can get paid. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But guess what? Not just niggas, white people, whoever. They fucked it up. Y'all fucked it up. Y'all overloaded it. So they had to start dropping policies, like them or not. And see, we don't know, we don't watch everything that's on YouTube. There's a lot of shit on YouTube where motherfuckers be trying to lure in kids through toys. And that's why they was on that kid shit. Because niggas like Hassan Campbell and King Erner and all them type of niggas is always want to be for the kids. Why are you so worried about other people's kids, nigga? Worry about your motherfucking people that's going through the bullshit right now. The kids coming up, you feel me? If you if you can't help a kid out, give him some food in his mouth, put a dollar in his pocket, give him some opportunity, that shit that you talking about don't fucking mean nothing. Niggas be on this motherfucking YouTube thinking that they Malcolm X, thinking that we should respect the shit that they saying because they get on here and, and give their life up to us. Like, they, they be saying shit like, I do this for y'all. You don't do this for us, nigga. Fuck out of here. We ain't, we ain't know you before this shit. We ain't ask you to come on, nigga. You do this shit to get paid. As you should to get fucking paid. You understand me? Or just, if you're just an entertainer, you're an entertainer. But come on, black people. This shit is getting ridiculous, man. We look so stupid out here, man. Our women, we losing our women. And we talk about we the God. Even though we are, but just look what's happening to the God. You understand me? And we ain't, they, 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 man, they dogging us, man. They dogging us. And why they dogging us? We steady worried about this nigga, Hassan Campbell. Who's winning? Every time you do a blog on them, people that watch your blog gonna go find who he is and watch his blog and see how many fucking subs he got and views he get and they gonna ride with him because the people in the comments want to be a part of somebody who they feel like this, that nigga, this nigga got 200,000 subs. You feel me? You got 10,000. You really nobody. Anybody can get 10,000. Everybody ain't got it. I ain't got it, but I'm just saying you can get 10,000. It's not hard if you really put in the work to get 10,000. It's a little bit harder to get 200,000. You understand me? Hassan come with a story. A story. He's a liar. The gay shit, all that. Supposed to be a gangster and all that crazy shit. And so much entertainment mixed in this nigga without him even knowing that he entertaining. You understand me? He just can do this shit every single day because he don't have friends or family. He's a loner. He's a rebel. He has nothing. All he has is YouTube. If they cut YouTube off, he's done. Like a lot of these other YouTube niggas. A lot of these other YouTube niggas don't know a hundred niggas in real life. Or if they do, they don't respect them. I bet you 60% don't respect them niggas. If they know a hundred motherfuckers on the streets. You understand me? It's the difference between me. I understand entertainment. I understand that it's all fun and games. But it's a lot of niggas that can't separate this shit. I know niggas in the street. I'm a Pisces. I get along with people. I can adapt. That's my gift. I talk shit. You feel me? I'm great at that. I'm a real nigga. I've been out here in these streets. I'm certified. Niggas know me. You feel me? Some will have good things to say. Some will have bad things to say. But they know me. You understand me? Oh, yeah, he been out here. That's him. You understand me? A lot of you niggas, nobody would know you motherfuckers on the streets if, if it wasn't for YouTube. 
you a bunch, all these niggas is lames. All these niggas is lames, man. You will watch a nigga video sometime, and you be like, that nigga a real nigga. And then he start doing fuck nigga shit. When he get a little bit better, bigger in power, he start doing fuck nigga shit. He be like, damn. Oh, whole ass nigga. That's why I go in on that nigga, so, because I felt like, nigga, you tricked me. Nigga, you made me feel like you was a real nigga, and you tricked me, nigga. So now I got to go in on your dumb ass. You feel me? But I ain't going to keep going at niggas like Hassan Campbell, a nigga that ain't fucking nobody. You feel me? A nigga that's living off a delusional nigga. This nigga is delusional, man. Something is wrong with a nigga to put out he's been raped by a nigga, like, and they both relevant, like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas is still around to put that shit out there like that, and then still talk about you a gangster and all this type of shit. Something gotta really be fucking wrong with you for a nigga to sit there and disrespect his mother and his whole family and say fuck all this off Budweiser, off Budweiser. Something is fucking wrong with him. And that's why the people want to keep coming back to watch him because they know there's something wrong with him. It's you other bloggers that don't under understand why they fucking with him and watching him. Because he's doing his job. He's blogging every single fucking day, three times a day. He got different topics. He's watching other niggas, blogging off them. And he's watching whatever, like the, the news type shit, the bigger bloggers, and he's blogging off them. It's a race right now. I'm telling you, man, I can see it as a race right now. When I was blogging just maybe last year or whatever, you could get you a good blog off and be good and get your little views or whatever. And niggas like, damn, <clears throat> I ain't even see that. They wouldn't even just, like, you might get two or three or four niggas that are blog off, but there's so many niggas on the internet, so you don't know who's doing what. But you that you can see, like, niggas will fall back. They're trying to find their own shit. They want to be original. All the originality is gone, like, any blog, I, I just did that Snoop Dogg blog. I seen niggas in my comments tell me to keep up the good work and then go do a blog and then my motherfucking views off his blog than I did off mine, way more. And I saluted the nigga in the comments, you understand me? Because he was showing love and he went back and put in that work. Then I seen another nigga did it, you feel me? That was higher than both of us. Two of my blogs, but it is what it is. But like I said, ain't no more originality. Niggas ain't, it's, niggas, it's like losing. Like they, they ain't going to look for other, they ain't really trying to, they, they, they is searching through motherfucking the internet like a motherfucker. So that's why it's so hard for a nigga to catch a blog. But at the same time, if they can't catch it and you catch one, they going to copy it right off you. You feel me? And that's just what the game is right now, man. So right now, this was a, a mixture of all type of dumb shit with the Hassan Campbell shit. And niggas ain't shit and ain't never going to be shit because we just always going for the underdog. Why is that? When Wilder lost, niggas was happy. That motherfucking white dude won doing... Oh, it's a lot of bullshit that's been going on during Black History Month as, I, as, as now that I pay attention to. A lot of shit has been going on doing Black History Month, y'all. Let's break down the events. We're not going to break it down right here, but do it at home. All the events that didn't occur, like that was shitting on black people. Like disrespecting the fuck out of us. But we talking about Hassan Campbell. But Hassan, Hassan Campbell is talking about the shit that these motherfuckers, that, that we all need to be talking about. You feel me? But the only difference between us is we're normal and he's a fucking psychopath, but he's got the he got the internet game down now. He's starting to he he see he doing he even do battle rap. You understand me? He even like we we crossed over into that lane, he crossed over into our lane. You feel me? Like these niggas is like they devious. They got shit on like niggas is watching other niggas and it's over into our lane. You feel me? Like these niggas is like they devious. They got shit on like niggas is watching other niggas and they and they moving off of them. Y'all think like you could tell, I could tell when a nigga trolling me. A nigga ain't gotta do a blog on me after, <coughs> after I did a blog on him. Hold up. <coughs> after I did a blog on him, I could watch one of his blogs and see that this nigga is trolling me. You feel me? He might be saying shit that I said, talk how I talk, saying certain shit. That only that I can catch. You feel me? So I do that shit to other niggas. That's how I know how I, I know if it's been done to me. You feel me? 
and that's the shit that you niggas in the comments and other bloggers don't catch. But y'all catch it sometime when niggas doing it to y'all. That's other bloggers, especially if you know that blogger. You understand me? So just, just because a nigga don't respond back with a blog don't mean that he ain't respond back with a blog. Believe that. You understand me? Niggas will take your shit and put it in their shit and be like, nigga, I'm bigger than you, nigga. Niggas ain't gonna believe that shit, and if they do, so what? Nigga, this, this, this shit you doing, this shit mine. And I done seen a lot of niggas do some of that shit to me. 